finally after waiting for what feels like so long we finally get the justice league trailer and it just made me so giddy so happy inside i literally woke up and went straight to my phone did nothing else even though i'm super hungry i had to poop i had to pee i had to just start my day but the first thing i did before i could even open my eyes fully was turn to my phone and watch the justice league trailer at first i was kind of iffy because the way it opens is like kind of like corny kind of cheesy but it definitely gets a lot better it's showing it shows that it seems like warner brothers and dc they listen to the fans because it still has that overall arching dark tone uh, as far as like the look of it but batman's got his classic like perfect timing sense of humor uh barry allen's got stuff going they show off a little bit of cyborg and aquaman i think is the biggest takeaway from this trailer he looks like he's absolutely awesome he look he is a complete 180 from what i know of of the aquaman character in the books uh some people are really are really not not gonna like that probably when the movie comes around but i think people love jason uh, momoa and they're going to like overall still what he does with with the character i've i've always been an advocate for it we should always judge a, a film based on its quality as a film not ever judge a comic book movie or a movie based on a novel or a movie based on a historical event how accurate it portrays that 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 source material we should judge it as, as as a film as a movie you know so many people dislike certain certain movies because they stray from the source material and i think that's absolute nonsense it's a movie it's gonna take its own creative liberties as a movie should once again there are just certain things that happen in comic books in books that just don't work in movies uh, it's just either extremely hard to, to get them right or you just cannot get them right at all and uh, that's what people a lot of people don't uh, realize movies should be judged as a movies and so forth but anyways I went off on a little tangent uh, like so Aquaman huge takeaway he seems funny he seems very chill very laid-back and right after we meet Jim Gordon he says to Batman it's nice to see that you're playing well with with others again and you get Aquaman coming into the scene and he just simply says so you dress like a bat I can dig it and and Ben Affleck looks back at the Jim Gordon and says it may be temporary and then right after that we get an awesome scene with Jason Momoa riding the Batmobile into battle and he's just absolutely having a blast and we're absolutely going to be having a blast once again I cannot stress it enough at this point he already seems like he's king of Atlantis and we do get a small bit of Mira uh, and also I will leave the link in the description if you guys want to check the trailer out for yourself and then come back to this video that's fine too but of course like i said when we get batman's perfect sense of humor batman does have one line in this movie uh barry allen asks him so what's your superpower and batman responds with a very once again perfectly timed he takes a nice comedic pause and he answers with i'm rich which is what everyone says about him everyone says about like iron man and it's Perfect. I cannot wait to hear that line in the movie and hope and hopefully it's in the middle of a sold-out auditorium And the whole crowd can laugh together because that shit was actually pretty funny Cyborg Cyborg is actually the one thing from the trailer. I'm kind of I'm kind of iffy on guys because it's one thing to have a man become almost half of him is CGI like that is that's just the the fact that if, if you wanted to do cyborg, you have to do it this way. And I totally understand that, but his overall look, I'm just not quite digging it. Like I think he's a little too small, first of all, in like his base form, because as we see he's he has like multiple like things that he could do with like the way that his body looks. He could give himself like armor stuff as we do see in uh, part of the trailer. But I don't know, the CGI on him looks kind of bad in a part where uh he's presumably at a bar or a diner or something like that and he has on his hood and his the half of his face with a glowing red eye uh, it just looks kind of fake and i don't know if cyborg exactly is going to uh wet my whistle here in, in this movie 
I don't know much about him, but as long as he says Booyah one time in, in the movie, I will walk away pleased with the cyborg character. But still, I love how, bad and how Ben Affleck is playing Batman. I really think he's pretty good at it, and I think Ben Affleck actually has a comedic bone in his body. So that's going to be great, because like I said, Batman, he's he doesn't crack jokes. He makes very quick quips, and his timing is perfect. Like, your, 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 jokes, ha your, your jokes don't have to be great but if uh, your timing is perfect. And they really just show that a, a few times, or in, in the trailer. We get to see Jim uh, Gordon for the first time, which is pretty cool. We get, to see, we get to see some really cool Flash stuff. Obviously, his effects are way more extravagant than in the show, since it's a huge budget movie. And I'm actually pretty excited for this Flash. I really like the way that, that his costume looks. Um, I just don't, I, flat, I, I just flat out don't agree with people that don't like it, because that's just me. Uh, Wonder Woman seems pretty cool. I still think Gal Gadot is amazing. <laughs> Sorry to my girlfriend, but she is absolutely amazing um, in every physical sense of the word. And she she didn't do a bad job from what little we got to saw her of BVS. Of course, uh, further judgment will be held for when Wonder Woman comes out. So overall, this trailer is pretty badass, guys. It's pretty funny at some parts. And I still love that the movie still like still looks dark, but they're still having fun with it. It really uh, feels like because I'm a personal fan of like just darker tone, a more serious movie. Of course, who who doesn't like to laugh when they're watching a movie? And that's my favorite kind of movie. So, guys, tell me what you guys thought about the Justice League trailer down below in the comments. How you think Justice Justice League is coming out based off of the little bit of footage that we have so far? And without further ado, goodbye, good night. Have a better tomorrow. See you next time. Bye bye.